sheet of class 4. Hi, I am Ashtit of class 4. This is the idea I am suggesting for. Irrigating in dry areas, the plants require slow but steady supply of water. For that reason, I will be using clay pots filled up with water. The pot will be covered with the lid. The lid will have a hole to permit rain water enter it. The pot will be buried with the mouth above the soil surface. That's where rain can fall onto the hole of the lid. Several pots will be buried alongside of the plants. Thus the moisture of the soil is kept constant on the soil. This principle is followed as an ancient agriculture practice in countries like Brazil. Here is the model of men having clay pots alongside of the plants. You can replenish the water after removing the lid. Generally, depending on weather conditions, it has been found out that it lasts for more than 2-3 to three weeks. In India, we have more array dot islands where irrigation is problematic. You definitely can follow this method. We can follow this method whenever you leave your house temporarily without worrying about who will water your garden plants. The advantages of this method of irrigation are there is no wastage of water because the water will reach to the roots directly. There is no chance of growing weeds. This method is best method for growing crops in dry areas. Thank you. Hi, good morning everybody. This is G. Vijay Lakshmi, Science Faculty in Rainbow School, Kalveli Palam, Nello. This is our project, Buried Pot Irrigation. And this is the best method uh, we are, uh, nowadays we are following. And uh, this was invented by the farmers of the Northern Africa thousands of years ago. Now countries like Brazil, uh, Africa and uh, uh, some areas in the India, uh, we are following this method of agriculture method of irrigation, buried pot irrigation. The pots will become more porous when baked or fired at medium temperature less than 1000 degrees centigrade. Then the pot will become more porous. We can use unglazed pots that means the pots which are dull appearance we can also use for this method. So when the pot becomes more porous slowly the water inside the pot will leak through the walls of the pot and reaches directly to the roots of the plants and help the plants to grow well. This is the main basic principle in the, involved in this buried pot irrigation. And the main steps involved in this uh, uh, procedure of the, we are following for the buried pot irrigation. First we have to dig a hole. That hole should be three times wider and two times deeper than the buried pot. And we have to remove all the soil from that hole and we have to mix compost with that soil 1 is to 3 ratio. That means one part of the compost should mix with the three parts of the soil. The soil sample we have to keep inside the hole and uh, uh, we have to arrange the pots inside the hole. And pots are filled with the water up to the brim and we have to arrange the pots 2 centimeters uh, in such a way that the top of the pot should be 2 centimeters uh, above the land surface. And we have to fill the pots with water. We can mix fertilizers, manure, compost, whatever it is required uh, that is helpful for the growth of the plants. But we have to make it little diluted form. We have to add to the water and uh, keep inside the lid on the top of the pot. But the lid compulsory should contain a small hole. Through that hole it will allow the rain water to enter inside the pot in rainy season. Then we have to arrange pots in such a way that some gap uh, we have to maintain between the pots it will allow to uh, refill the pots easily with the help of the pipes whenever it is required. Then in between these pots we have to uh, uh, sow some seeds. Um, we can uh, sow any vegetable seeds, any vegetable plants related to that also. And uh, we have to maintain some gap between the plants. And the advantages of this method and it is very cheap and very less cost. Uh, locally available materials we can use to make these pots and the farmer has very less work. And there is a, this is the best uh, water conservation method and the more amount of the water we can save by this method. There is no wastage of the water because directly the water is reaching to the uh, roots of the plants. And there is a weeding problem also not there. Weeds do not prosper because weeds require water and nutrients to grow. And throughout the season the surface of the land is maintained dry. And we are supplying water to the directly roots of the plants not to the weeds. And whatever nutrients, uh, manures we are adding directly, we are mixing in diluted form with the inside the water. So the plants only will utilize these nutrients. It cannot go reach to the uh, weeds. And uh, 
this is mainly useful for the vegetable crops. Um, hectares of lands we, are, we can cultivate by using this method of uh, buried clay pot irrigation. And fertilizers we are directly uh, mixing along with the water in the pot. There is no wastage of fertilizers or compost. We can save 50% to 60% this way, uh, fertilizers also. And uh, we can, this is the best method. This buried pot irrigation is the best method in the areas where the salinity is the main problem. Salinization means the salt concentration will be more in the water. So in such areas the plants cannot grow properly. So if you use this buried clay pot irrigation, we can uh, uh, avoid this problem also because the water, the salts present in the salty water directly move away from the root zone and will go away from the wetted area. So the plants will grow nicely. This is the best method of irrigation and uh, we can uh, save time and we can uh, no need to spend money for the labor also because there is no weeds problem. So this is the best method. If you follow this method, we can get more benefit and there is no wastage of water. Uh, we can save the water also by following this method. I would like to convey my special thanks to Mrs. Maliti ma'am who is our curricular coordinator who guided us about this project and helped us to present this project in Spectrum 2016. Thank you.